All right, what's going on, boys and girls? So we're going to be looking at the best Pine Phone OS. And newsflash, it ain't post-market OS. <laughs> uh, this is the post-market OS edition, obviously. So this is the 3 gig, 32 gig model. Uh, for me, I have tried Kitty Neon, you know, Plasma Mobile, Plasma Mobile on Manjaro. Uh, what was it? Fosh with Manjaro. Lu Lumiri with Manjaro. I have done UbiPorts, I've done Luno S, I've done Sailfish, I have done Mobian, and a few other ones that escape my brain right now. So you get the point. I've done a and I've done the 13 to 1 ISO. I've done a lot of these. And I really want to like Luno S and Sailfish, but they just don't work well enough on this particular hardware. Right now, if we're talking strictly based on design and implementation on a phone the best phone os is ubi ports ubi ports is the best one currently the way i've seen it explained is there's linux mobile operating systems and then there's ubi ports or ubuntu touch so there's ubuntu touch and everything else the reason i say that is because for the most part, this has filled every requirement I need to switch from this. Two key features that don't work that hold me back. Two, the headphone jack doesn't work by default. So like when you plug in headphones, it does nothing. I mean, you can drop into the command line and tweak it, like, but it that's not how, the experience I want. And the other thing that makes this not a daily driver for me is cameras don't work they work but and i'm on the dev channels but they're not they don't work so for me it, it's just not an option until they get that situation fixed but if we're looking strictly at app replacements and everything else this has replaced every single app that i need no problems, no issues, nothing. And that to me it has been the biggest thing I needed. So as an example, I need a podcast player. Oh, hey, look, Podbird. Uh, an Instagram app. Not that I use it personally, but. And let's see what else we got. Uh. A well-designed store, unlike the software centers on both Discover and Fosh-based ones, i.e. GNOME software. This is actually good. The other ones are actually garbage. Uh, the other thing that I prefer is the fact that Fosh was developed by Purism. That's something Purism can keep. It basically goes for me, it goes Luminary or Lumiary or however the fuck you pronounce it. This and Plasma Mobile. Those to me are the two viable options right now. And that's by design more than anything else. So as a phone operating system, Ubuntu Touch or UbiPort swings hands down. As a overall os it's still got some work before it can replace this for me which is you know this is android unfortunately so ubuntu touch all the way you want a straight answer calls text notification light as you can tell all that stuff works if cameras and headphone jack are the biggest thing you need, this is not it. If basic app replacement is what you need, UNAV, Podbird, Cloud Music replaces your navigation, replaces your need for Spotify and similar apps. And uh, if you're a Telegram user like I am, teleports. And if you need a email client, Deco, that code to for email and you just have to set that up as a by 
um, buy permissions for apps kind of deal on your email, which is fine. So for me, definitely UbiPorts all the way. Hands down, no questions asked. Again, UbiPorts is so far ahead of everybody else that I, I can't recommend anything else but this. And if you do do Manjaro, I would recommend the Lumiri version. Again, Foss, uh, Bosch to me is just bad. It, there's just no, no way, short way around it. It's bad. So there you guys go. There's my recommendation of what phone OS is the best on the Pine phone. And it's Ubuntu Touch. What about you guys?